when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. It's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's going to get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like that. Those normal people, it makes them feel like sh- so they're going to judge you. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're going to be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. I respect any motherfucker that wakes up every day day and work they ass off to live their life and lifestyle. Clubbing, partying, hanging out, that ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing. While everybody else is clubbing and hanging out, you got your focus right. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. How are you going to make it? I don't know, but I will. The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. Because that is your commitment. That business that you want. That book you want to write. That dream that you have of controlling your destiny. That is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment. Not have support. Be lonely. Doubt yourself sometimes. Be rejected again and again and again. Become bankrupt if necessary. Again and again and again. And refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it, not what circumstances will make of it, not what other people will make of it, not what other people say it will be, not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. So when you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. If I decided to experience the fear of rejection, the fear of no, the fear of failure, the fear of standing by myself, the fear of people not liking me. What else is available? Of taking a chance, the fear of losing it all. What else is available to me? People are going to think you're crazy. You don't have nothing but lint in the corner of your pocket. You ought to talk about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. I'm guessing you people all decided that the only person who could ever kill Thomas Shelby is Thomas Shelby himself. 